in the past 40 years, the number of cervical cancer cases and the number of deaths from cervical cancer has decreased drastically, according to the CDC. Pap smears the initial screening test. The decline is largely because women are getting regular pap tests, which can find precancerous cells. It does not tell you if you have cervical cancer or not, but it does tell you if you have some cells that might be uh, needing to be looked into. OBGYN Solo Vieva says people may be surprised at who commonly gets cervical cancer. And what many people uh, don't realize is that cervical cancer is actually a disease of young women. So the age when people, if they do um, develop cervical cancer, the age when it's most likely to happen is their late 30s, early 40s. Dr. Solo Vieva says recommendations for a pap smear is not universal for every woman and is something an individual and her physician should discuss. Reporting in Kirksville, Monisha Bruner, KTVO News.